Hello everyone, today we will install Keras library on Windows using Anaconda. So if you don't know how to create Anaconda environment, you can uh, refer to one of my previous video in which I am I am showing how to create Anaconda environment. So I, I, am, I am activating Kana. First of all, we will activate one environment. You can use any error, you can create any environment and use it. Here I am using environment named as deep learning. Uh, you can see that the environment named as deep learning is activated by the name it is written here before actual path where, where you are in command line. So what we will do, we will type this command to install Keras library inside Anaconda. Keras library has this bunch of dependencies so it will ask, uh, it will ask you to install all the dependencies. Uh, so you will type Y for years to proceed ahead and one thing is that uh, Keras library you can use Keras library with either TensorFlow or Theano backend. Keras libra library use TensorFlow as default backend, so it will it is showing here TensorFlow only. But we can install Theano library and use it at backend in Keras library. We will do it uh, at the end of this video. So here you can see that the Keras library is already is now installed so we can verify if it is uh, installed correctly or not use so first of all we will enter into python console by typing python so we will try to import keras library and it should not give us any error so you can see here that it is using tensorflow backend here now so now the question is how to use tno backend instead so we will exit this console as of now and we will first of all install Theano library using conda install Theano and we will also install some dependencies of Theano library see that uh, Theano library is installed so we will just quickly verify if it is installed correctly or not by entering the Python, Python console and we will import Theano we can see that uh, Python is actually able to import the library without any giving without giving any error So now whenever you install the Keras library, it also generates one uh, configuration file inside user ho user's home directory. It contains some useful data like which backend to use and how the data will be provided and what the epsilon will be etc. So to get the user home directory, we will simply use this command which is user profile. we will uh, echo the value of this flag so we can see that in my system it is this uh, see user school d and in your system you will get whatever your user's home directory is so now the next step is proceed to this folder as you can see here i have already inside this c user school d folder you will find one folder named is dot keras open this folder you will find the file named keras.json uh, it does contain configuration like i said so here so here the backend is configured as tensorflow you can change it as theano it is this simple you just save this file and 
import import the Keras library here so you will see that Keras will be using the backend now 